Back in Rome, I'm Father E. Ciao, amici. Here we are at Piazza Navona. This piazza is one of the most famous and arguably the most beautiful of Rome's many squares. The large and very lively space, even right now, features no less than three magnificent fountains. Another eye catcher is the Baroque Church of San Agnese in Agone. You know, the shape of this piazza might just give you a clue as to its origins. Piazza Navona is built actually on the former Dormesian Stadium built by the Emperor Dormesian in 86 AD, hence the long oval shape. The stadium, which had a larger area than the Colosseum, was mainly used for festivals and sporting events. The stadium was known as Circus Agonales, or the competition arena. In the 15th century, the stadium was paved over to create what we know today as Piazza Navona. The main artistic attraction of the piazza, as I mentioned, are the three fountains. The central and largest fountain is the Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi, the fountain of the four rivers. It was constructed between 1647 and 1651 at the request of Pope Innocent X. The design of the fountain was first commissioned to Borromini, but it was ultimately handed to our good friend Bernini. And there was a little tension there between the two men. The fountain features four figures representing a river from four different continents, the Nile, the Ganges, the Danube, and the Rio de la Planta. Statues at the base of the rock support, as you can see, an Egyptian obelisk. The two other fountains of the piazza are the Fontana de Netuno, which is way down the other end, at the northern end of the, uh, of the piazza, and the Fontana del Moro, or the Moor Fountain, here at the southern end. The Fontana del Netuno, Neptune's fountain, was built in 1576 by Giacomo della Porta. The statues, Neptune, surrounded by the sea nymphs, were added in the 19th century. Giacomo della Porta also built the Fontana del Moro. Here next to me, the central statue is a moor holding a dolphin designed by Bernini, and the, uh, the tritons were added in the 19th century. Now the highlight of the Navona Square is the Church of San Iese in Agone. It was commissioned by Pope Innocent X in 1652 and built on the site where it was believed that St. Agnes was stripped naked and then miraculously saved from disgrace by an extraordinary growth of her hair. The front facade of the Baroque church was designed by Borromini and he, of course, is Bernini's main rival. Construction started just two years after the completion of Bernini's Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi, right in the center of the square. The church was finished in 1670. Piazza Navona is situated in what's called the Centro Storico, the historic center of Rome, just west of the Pantheon. And as you can see, it is one of Rome's most alive open spaces, with a lot of outdoor cafes and great restaurants in the neighborhood and uh, also gelaterias. Gelato, by the way. Now that sounds like a really good thing to do right about now. So I'm gonna go find some gelato. For now, everyone, ciao, amici. Ci vediamo presto.